Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor has it. Call out a name or you gossiping or you chatty patty. I'm gossiping. This is the Rumor Report. I mean, I guess we on The Breakfast Club. This is where the tea spills, right? Right. right. On The Breakfast Club. Well, Sam Smith was in New York City. You know, he performed at the Grammys, uh, what, about a week ago? Mm -hmm. And when he performed, his performance was kind of demonic. It was uh, devils popping out all over devilish. the place. Yeah, yeah. Really I think that devilish. was the point, though. Yeah. Because the song is called Unholy. Yeah, well, when he got here, um, New Yorkers uh, welcomed him. You belong in hell. Oh. Sam Smith belongs in hell. You demonic, <laughs> twisted, sick bastard. Leave the kids alone, you sick <laughs> the first record. Sam Smith is a pedophile! Rumor! He's the 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 kids. The Rumor the kids! You sick mother Sam Smith! Did somebody yell rumors? That's the craziest part. If Jesus, you, you call somebody a pedophile, you're supposed to say lies, not rumors. You know, rumor. <laughs> like you're supposed to yell back rumors. Jeez. I'm not condemning anybody to hell. You know? Jeez. Man. Not true. Rumors. Yeah, rumors. Well, the well, song is called Unholy, though. I mean, I think the whole still, point of the performance was to be devilish. Yeah, but people I never like even heard it. that song till then, by the way. Do you listen to Sam Smith? I mean, sometimes, but not that record. Sometimes when? When he used to be Adele. When he <laughs> <laughs> no, I did. I used to listen to Sam Smith when he used to be Adele. When did he used to be Adele? When he first came out, he used to be Adele. Wait a second, that's he never insult- used to see Adele and Sam Smith in the same room that's together. That's insulting up, to Adele. All right, saying Sam Smith is beautiful. No. One of the two? No. Either way. No. There was a point in time we thought they were the same person. Careful. <laughs> no, you did. Careful, what? Nobody Careful else did. women. What? Careful women. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> Careful <laughs> lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Careful, <laughs> Mr. <Jesus>. Lemon. <laughs> All right. Well, Glorilla was performing, and, uh, you know, sometimes when people perform, they throw panties. They, I see drinks. They throw hats. Well, somebody threw a whole jacket at her. Who do it? Oh, God. Who do it? 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 She said, look, little girl, don't throw no more. But she threw her whole jacket, and then they had to throw it back because I guess she realized I need that jacket hey, back because it's cold outside. Yeah. So. Oh, I was thinking it was for her, for Glorilla. I no. like something she made for her or something. It's nope. just getting out of hand, though. I don't like the throwing things at people because like, people are thro- like literally throwing feces. Like, you could be doing anything now to anybody. That's getting out of hand. What if I think you did? So I threw the feces at you. Oh, my goodness. What was the point of the jacket? I don't know. I don't know why she threw the jacket. I guess she, she got excited to, and just wanted, wanted to tell to her to hang it up. Yeah. I don't know. Mm. Hang it up. I don't know. <laughs> da da <dun, dun. laughs> Yeah. I don't know. And lastly, <laughs> what? And some sad news. Bruce Willis, oh. uh, the family of Bruce, uh, Bruce Willis, announced that the actor is suffering from a form of dementia. Uh, there's no treatments. He's 67, yes, he's 67 years old. That's young, bro. Today, uh, the family said today there are no treatments for this disease, a reality that we hope can change in years ahead. As Bruce's condition uh, advances, we hope that any media attention can be focused on shining a light on this disease. Very sad. Damn. Definitely send the healing energy to Bruce Willis and uh, his family. But, man, you think about it. Bruce Willis, 67. Mm-hmm. He's been diagnosed with dementia. My <coughs> cholesterol a little bit high. And the White House trying to tell us ain't nothing wrong with your body. Nothing. He's in a, He's the perfect bill of health. He is. What, what are they going to tell you? The truth? They're going to tell you where the Chinese balloons are and they're going to tell you about his yeah, health? You're right. You're right. You're I feel right. sorry for Bruce Willis. I definitely, I do too. it's unfortunate. And I have a, I have a, my best friend, her, her father has early forms of dementia. It's, mm. it's even more difficult on the people who are caring for the loved ones. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Because he forgets who, he forgets who people are. So imagine, yeah. you know, somebody you love forgetting that, that you're their child. You mm. know what I mean? Or you're and their the way they other. react to that. Correct. Mm. The way they react to not knowing who the person is who is in their house. Mm. So he walks in, he sees his wife. I don't know who you are. Who are you? Why are you here? Mm. And depending on the form of dementia or how how grave it is, your reaction can be either violent or it could be sad or it could be hysterical. Mm. It could be a range of emotions, which is why this disease is so difficult right. more than any other because you can't, there's obviously no treatment for it, but you can't really identify why they react to you that way. So you have to learn to adjust your entire lifestyle around them. Are there any preventive measures? You know, there was a, I read a study a long time ago that said if you were, and I don't know how true this is, but mm-hmm. they said math problems. That's one thing when people start having Alzheimer's, they start in, in forms of dementia, they used to make people do math problems, simple uh-huh. basic math problems because it, it exercises your brain. Like wow. multiple, like tables, you know, times tables, division. Man, don't say that. <clears throat> and, you know, they said that. 
I said, don't say that because I ain't been able to do a math problem oh, in 30 oh years. Oh, no, I'm, I'm oh, right. But I, I think, or crossword puzzles, they tell you to do things that are really stimulating to your brain. To your brain. What are you reading? I, I, okay, perhaps. Have you tried to do some of this new math? Have you ever tried to do some of your kids' homework? I've been telling you, you the, the regroup stuff is, is, is ridiculous. You can't. It's impossible. I can't. No. I got to call a friend every time I got to do my kids' yeah, math homework or help them do their kids' well, math Well, you guys need to start getting out those little crossword puzzles and, um, right. and, and do some math problems that but are difficult. Everybody knows my, my mother-in-law, she passed away. She had dementia. But oh, I'm sorry. But my neighbor... Um, it was is weird. He was a younger he was younger a younger person. He was a doctor. He was like fifty something years old, fifty eight or something like that. The first time was he had his fork and knife at the table. Didn't know which one to use. Mm. Oh, and his wife was like, "This is kind of strange, but okay." They went to the doctor. They said, "Well, it seems like it's early signs." And the next day he went to work and couldn't figure out how to get home. He was stuck on the side of the road. Didn't know where. Didn't know how to make the turns or nothing like that. He later passed from from dementia as well. So you could die from dementia. Yeah, I guess not eat my like my mother in law didn't want to eat. Like, oh, you get how to eat. You, oh, just, you forget oh, man. the basics. The basics, yeah. yeah. The basics, it, like literally the basics. How to use the bathroom. You don't even know. Oh, you don't know how old you are. You right. don't know your first and last name. Y'all scaring the hell out of me. Because well, some, no. some of this stuff just comes with age too. It does. A lot of this stuff y'all describing. It does, but it's more severe. Yeah. And you and you see it in a way. It's the way they respond to it. It's really true. My friend said she has to write for her dad every day what day it is mm-hmm. on the board. She has to write his first and last name. She has to tell him where he is. Like like you mm-hmm. are here in this location yeah. right now. Because they wake up disoriented. They have mm-hmm. no not they as in everyone, but mm-hmm. some the way it shows itself. You don't know where you are. Right. Could you imagine waking up and not knowing where you no, are? No, that's that's insane. I tell I tell you I know we gotta go, but one time we were on a flight. And my mother-in-law woke up and thought she was at work. See? She was like, I got to go downstairs and go to work. Mm-hmm. And we was like, no, Ma, you're, you're on a plane. She was like, no, no, no. Job's downstairs. I got to go downstairs. <laughs> Ma, you can't go. If you go downstairs, but none of us are alive. Yeah. And then, but then the, the, the thing that hurt my wife so much is during that whole time, she did not know who my who her daughter was. Yeah. But she knew who I was, which was weird. She knew who I was, but didn't know that was. But anyway, when we come back, we got uh, front page news. We'll tell you about your president. He went to the doctor. We'll tell you what happened when he went. And also, Don Lemon. He out here choosing violence. <laughs> He's choosing Don violence. Don Lemon want all the smoke with all the women in the world. <laughs> oh, my goodness. We'll talk about it next. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up. Early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.